This HyperX Alloy Origins 65% keyboard we're gonna talk about today might be the best 65% keyboard we have ever covered. Hold up, better than that Ducky 13SF you just covered? Might be. Come on, better than the Varmillo Maya Pro? Very close. You're telling me it's better than this amazing keyboard we're gonna talk about tomorrow? Yo, 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 we're not allowed to show that yet. Come on, what are you doing? That's under embargo still. I don't know who the heck that bald guy was. No joke, I truly think this is one of the best 65% gaming keyboards we have ever. Covered. And taking a look at what you get inside your box here, well, of course, you get your 65% keyboard. This thing is like heavy duty aluminum. You got pretty much like three levels of feet. As you see, the stock, it almost has that slight elevation on there already, and that one's always there. Then you got this little pop out foot, bam, and then another. And let me tell you what, these guys are in here nice and tight. You got the grips all the way around there. Now, the back USB port, it is a little bit slim in there, as you see. Now, you can fit the stock one, but again, fitting some other ones, it's a little bit tight in there now that is plastic so you could shave it out if you want but i don't know that's a little bit of a stinker right there right on the top you have these nice thick heavy duty pbt keycaps really nice you got your shortcuts printed on them right there y'all know i stink and love that but again i can't get over enough the case guys it's solid fully aluminum you feel the weight in your hand you do have floating keycap design here but it does come up a slight pinch so it's almost like in between ish right there again just style aesthetics the build of this thing is solid what else you get in your box here again your braided detachable usb-c cable you get this little HyperX branded keycap pull that's pretty cool and you get these extra key Keycaps. These are ABS. You got a little space theme on them. They are red. You got like a moon and then some UFOs over here. Did you guys notice? Look at this. Maybe this is just me. So we got space theme on the space bar. Get it? Space bar. Ha! Genius! So talking about that amazing build and that premium feel in the hand, I want to show you something here, okay? We're going to just weigh it up to these other boards, okay? So let's get to Ducky 13 SF over here. Guys, we are getting 692 grams on the Ducky 13 SF. Let's go and get my ever so favorite Maya Pro over here. Slap it on a scale. We are getting 738 grams on the Maya Pro. Now let's go on and get this HyperX board. Slap it on a scale right here, 794 grams. This thing is a tank. Wow, 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 wow. This board is packing a punch. Holy smokes, it's awesome. And we're only halfway through yet. How many is out there are thinking this is a paid sponsored video by HyperX? Golly, I sure wish it was. Hold up, I got an idea, I got an idea. Now, HyperX? I got your shirt on, now will you pay me? All right, so let's go on and take a deeper dive into this board right here, popping off some keycaps. And again, I wanna show you these super thick PBT keycaps. I mean, they have no flex in them, whatever. And I'm gonna show you, they still have great shine through as well, as you we know with that great HyperX uh, RGB. But taking a look into the keyboard here, you're using the HyperX red switches, and I believe that's all that's available right now. I'm sure they're gonna have in their aquas and their blues eventually. These are some of the best linear switches you will get out there. Butter smooth, super fast, and they just feel amazing. If there's one switch I can truly compare it to what it feels like, Believe it or not, it's the SteelSeries OmniPoint switches. If you never use the OmniPoint switches, I could say Gateron Reddish, but much smoother, much smoother. All right, solid keycaps, solid switches, solid build. Does it have a solid sound? Let's go on and get that sound test right. Hold, hold, hold up here, hold up, hold up guys. We're trying to, aren't we trying to get paid by HyperX here? Come on, don't you guys know how to get paid? There we go. All right, HyperX, you know where to send a check. Honestly, it doesn't sound too bad, right? The stabs? are passable. Now you do get that higher pitch sound because again, you have that open frame, that floating keycap design. So again, that sound's gonna radiate out right there. The one place that it can use some work is that space bar. So let's go on and try and fix this real quick. We're just gonna pop it off, get us some of this basic little dielectric grease right here, some nice little paint brush, and we're just gonna dab it right down in there, just like that, nothing fancy, nothing crazy, not great but passable. So we all have to agree the HyperX Alloy Origins 65% keyboard is stinking solid. It's phenomenal. I recommend it high and low. 
I love it. This is coming from a big box company, guys. Stinking awesome. The other cool thing about it is, well, you also have the HyperX Alloy Origins 60% if you want a 60% board, and you also have the HyperX Alloy Origins Core, the TKL one over here. Wow, you have every layout you want. Now, price is gonna vary a little bit. The 65% is coming in at 110 bucks. Obviously, it just came out. It's hot, it's fresh, it's new. You can get these two guys over here for around 70 to 80 bucks, you know what I mean? All of them pack the amazing, same quality build and those awesome switches across all of them. Again, guys, I recommend all of these keyboards. Covered all of them before, and I recommend them high and low. So anyways, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope I helped you out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now. Oh, my bad. I forgot to show you the RGB. As you see, it's shining through here. I got all these lights on around me here, and the RGB is still bold and bright coming right through these PPT caps. Again, guys, this board is stinking solid from RGB to build to just everything. What a win.